Hey guys, it's me, Caroline, with another Timu haul. You are gonna hear my dogs in the background. I have no idea what's happening downstairs, so I apologize in advance, but I just got home from work. I tore off my work clothes and I put on my pajamas and I, the only stitch of uh, jewelry that I am wearing are my uh, ho, ho, ho Christmas earrings from Timu. So, I think she's done. Okay, so I wore my hair back today because I actually had an allergy last night. I don't know what was going on in my sleep, but I kept scratching my my face and my arms and I was so itchy, I don't know what it was. And my forehead broke out in hives all across it. So I had to wear my hair back. I hate my forehead. I hate it because I don't have a big forehead. It is a little nothing of a forehead, but it's wide. So that's why I never wear my hair back because I need to have bangs. That's what my mom always told me when I was little. But I could have put in some clipping bangs, but I just, my it was so itchy and there are still like welts. I don't know what it is. I didn't change my detergent. I don't know, but hopefully um, I didn't want to take Benadryl at work because then I'd fall asleep. So moving forward, some of this just opened and I didn't open it, but so let me get started. So the first things I got, I bought an iron press. It's called... I bought an iron press. It's like a 10 by 10, but I wanted to make like pajamas and stuff like handmade Christmas gifts for everyone and t-shirts to wear on Christmas morning and we're having our Christmas party. So I bought a, a heat press and I'm gonna do good things with this heat press, especially since I found a place that sells iron-ons really cheap. And I found a um, seller on Amazon that sells, that sells t-shirts and long sleeve shirts for cheap. So, I think I might have something here. Okay, so the first iron on I got was this one. It says chicken whisperer. And I was gonna make this for my husband because he loves his chickens and they love him. And I just thought this would be apropos. I don't know if he'll ever, well, you know what? He probably will mow the lawn with this because he's very proud of his girls. And then I got him this one. Actually, I think I bought another one. So I got him this one. We're down to four chickens now. Two were egg bound and they passed away. But so I thought that was cute. And I got this from my son. He had an experience when he was young. We went to one of these county fairs and my uh, father. So he thought it was a great idea to put him on my husband's shoulders and lift him to feed a carrot to a giraffe not knowing that the little three-year-old would be petrified but the light by the length of the tongue of the giraffe so he hates giraffes he doesn't want anything to do with giraffes so naturally i got this so i could put it on a t-shirt for him and he can really enjoy a giraffe of a different sort and you know i get him giraffe stuffed animals and everything i even got a peel and stick giraffe thing i don't even know what you call it i put it in his wall he tore it down he didn't like it he didn't like it, but it was actually quite funny. So that's what I got in terms of iron-ons. The next thing I got, my dog, Buttercup. She's about three pounds, not even. She's a shorty. I've talked about her before. And I see people <laughs> walking around with these little doggy things. So it's kind of like for babies, but you know, you could, I don't know how this goes on actually. I guess you go like, I, well, I guess you can make this more comfortable. So anyway, the dog, I got a medium, so her little paws would go here. I just thought this was so cute. I'm gonna give her this for Christmas. You know what, I'm just gonna empty everything. Out. I, was, I was hoping that more stuff came because I have so many items on back order or just not coming and I don't know where it is. Oh, I also got this for Buttercup. This is a little, she probably, sh it's like snowing now here in New York. And um, this would probably be really good for her because she gets cold very easily. So her little paws go in here and her little face. And then again, it looks like this and it's a little bare. Actually, I'm gonna put that on her tonight. 
also for buttercup i only love my bed and my mama i'm sorry i don't know if this is gonna fit her well it might when she's shaven she can fit into it but when her hair grows in and we let her hair her fur grow in a little bit for the winter so that she has a bit of a coat but yeah i think this will fit her okay now oh, i got this for my son for christmas he and my black lab are just thick as thieves so i got him this it's kind of big maybe i got it too big no he could layer it up but come on and that looks like misha she's a english lab and that's you know supposed to be him so i thought that was cute so that's an extra i had to separate out all the stuff i bought from timu for christmas presents my husband's stuff my daughter's stuff my son's stuff my daughter-in-law's my son-in-law no, my my stepsons and whatnot. And of course, there's other stuff that I got them aside from from Kimi, but that was like half a day and I was exhausted. I had to like take a nap after doing that because I had bags and bags and bags of Timu stuff in my basement and I had to drag it all upstairs and divvy it out and then hide it again. So it was a lot of work, but, but it, I look like Dora the Explorer. I really do. Whenever my hair is back, I feel like swipe or no swiping i don't know okay so there's that then i got two of these shirts they were like five dollars each and i figured they would be nice to do some of my iron on ventures and i don't know what size i got them in but they're kind of thin but again you layered it up i think these are extra large and they're stretchy and it's pretty good material. Buttercup, I got her a new collar. I thought this was cute. And it's very, um, there we go. <laughs> Look how cute. That is just so adorable. I love it. I saw these, first of all, these came up in my Facebook, you know, on your newsfeed or whatever, and they have these things. And again, Random Terry hauled it. And it is, and they were selling them for quite a bit of money. But then, okay, so what you do with this is it looks like this, quite a bit of money, like, I don't know, like 20 something. And I got these for a dollar each. So this is your key. So you put your, your key on the key ring, right? and your key fob obviously and then you put it back in and then you pull this and then you snap it you snap it so it looks like that so i got one in gray and one in brown and these are cute little stocking stuffers so i thought you know christina would like one i don't know if she would use it but i thought it's a nice idea i'm gonna use mine i'm probably gonna take the gray one because i use a lot of black bags okay then i oh i got one in black <laughs> i got one in black one in brown and one in gray so maybe i will put these in their stockings okay all right so i got phone cases and these phone cases were so inexpensive so i got this one which i'm probably going to sport in the spring and it has a whole bunch of bees actually it's better when you do that and this is for the iphone 13 iphone 13 pro max i never know what i have i always have to ask my daughter what do i have so then whenever i want to buy a case i'm obsessed with the cases and i change my cases a lot i just don't use the same case all the time i i, I wait a while though and then i know exactly where to where i store all my cases this is another one that's great for the spring and this has like little blue flowers and strawberries. I used to be in love with strawberry shortcake when I was a little girl. I had a strawberry shortcake doll and she smelled just like strawberries. And I had my Melody and I had little twin stars. Love the little twin stars. So whenever I see any of that stuff, I always buy it because it brings me back to when I was a little girl. God, things were simple then. So simple and everyone was happy or at least we thought everyone was happy. Probably all miserable and going to therapy, but we didn't know. You know, when we were kids, you know, you just think the adults, they got this, they got this. Meanwhile, they didn't, because we don't. 
So then I got this green one. That one's nice. It's like, it's transparent. I'm sorry, I'm so itchy still. It's transparent and it has like that beveled glass look. Oh, I like that. This is, and you know what? These make great gifts, but you have to know what model phones your friends have. And phone cases are a personal thing. Not everyone likes it. Like, I'll get a phone case for Christina and she'll be like, eh, I'm not really feeling it. I'm like, okay, well then, that's okay glasses because I just don't have enough and I keep leaving them on my desk at work. I found six pairs of glasses on my desk today. I found a pair in the lost and found, go figure. And my co-teacher goes, are these your glasses? I go, they are. I don't know how they landed up in the lost and found. Then of course in the bathroom, I left it there. Um, I just, I leave them out. I got these in purple because purple is my favorite color. And I don't know what the, well, that would be good if I could see it. Hold on, here we go, problem solving again. So I'm gonna put this on and see what the magnetism is. 2.50, wow, I can see nothing like this, but up close, yeah. They're cute, they're, oh my God, I hate my hair like this, but I don't know, I had no choice today. The, bangs were just all over the place and okay so then i got i don't know what this is it's white it looks like chalk i have no idea smile oh geez it says smile and the reason why i got it is because my daughter is always miss positive or she very facetious about it she's facetiously positive so whenever like my son says something and you know he just to because he's annoyed or me, she'll say, smile, be nice. So I got her this, I'm gonna make her a t-shirt. Then I got this, as I've said uh, in the past, both my parents have passed over the past, well, my mom passed last, no, two years ago. It'll be two years, it has been two years. And today's actually the day my father passed, 10 years ago today. So um, this is an ornament for the Christmas tree. I'm not going to read it because today is a very difficult day for me. So that's why I try and do things to, I used to take this day off um, and just wallow in my depression after my father passed. I couldn't even bear to go to work on November 21st. It was like I, what I would do it on my school calendar that I had, you know, on my desk, I would cut the 21st of November out of my calendar because I just don't even want to think about it. Anyway, I've, it's been 10 years, so I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting there. I'm getting there, but then I lost my mom. So anywho, so here's the, uh, it's nice. It's about, you know, reserving a spot for your loved one. These are lip glosses and look like honeycombs. I don't know if they smell like honey. I think I watched a review and they don't, but I could be wrong. Oh, okay. I don't even see anything coming out. No, not, it doesn't smell like honey, but they look cute. So again, a stocking stuffer. And then I got the lip balm. I thought it was in a set of six. I did not read the description. And it looks like this. It's just pink, I don't know what it says. It says color. It says color. Oh, it's not a lip balm. It looks like a lip tint. Oh, it smells like strawberry. Mmm, tastes like strawberry. And I like the color. It's like a coral color. Right. I'm going on to my second bag. Right, I'm just gonna tear into this. And I'm gonna open it up. I have no idea what's in here. Oh, I think I have shoes. Get out. Okay. Okay, they're not shoes. I bought two of these. I'm not gonna take them out of the packaging, but these are gloves. I bought one for my husband. Actually, I'm gonna take them out because I hope they will fit. And one for my son. My son does plowing and he does, you know, he works outside for the town. 
he has the landscaping little thingy and he does fall cleanup so he needs it and my son does my son needs it and my husband needs it so my husband actually picked these out because he saw the ad on Ooh, i don't know i don't think even i could fit into these they're kind of small and I got the extra large. Well, actually, you know what? I'll let him be the judge of that. If he thinks they're too small, then I'll just keep them. But they stretch. So I got one for my son and one for my husband. Stocking stuffer. Two of these. One for my husband and one for my son. And it reminds me of on um, Christmas vacation with what's his name um oh god i forgot his name you know when he goes just cleaning out the you know he just the the, the brother what's his name where does this go this goes somewhere oh yeah okay so this is to so that yeah so i got one for my son and one for my husband when they do their little snow plowing or they're outside Oh, these are pants. I got, I think I got these from my son. Yes, hoping they fit. Okay, these are size, let me see what size they are. These are an extra large. They're just cozy pants. They don't smell good, though. I don't know what goes on over there. Is there a fish factory next door? Why does everything smell like that? Like, is it the chemical? Probably the chemicals. My husband wanted this for Christmas, and he saw one on Amazon. So naturally, I said, I could see if they have it on Timu. And they did. And the one on Amazon was $79, and the one on Timu is $44. And it's air, uh, air it's for your tires because he's traveling a lot. He's a coach and he's always recruiting. So um, I got that for him. That is it. And I'm sorry I sped through this, but I just want to drink my coffee and listen to my Christmas music and be with my fur babies before everyone gets home. And then it's like, it's all, it's craziness. It's just absolutely craziness. And, um, and I hope everyone has an enjoyable, and relaxing Tuesday evening. Thank you so much for everyone who comments and says such wonderful and sweet things. That That's very, very much appreciated as opposed to when people say things that are just mean and not warranted. And I'm not even gonna go there again because it's just not nice. So I thank you all and have a blessed evening. Bye-bye.